Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening. This is Heather, and it's the next day from the last video, and I came up with a good idea while I was finishing up the new section of the side yard yesterday. I'm going to make a butterfly garden. I know I had already decided to do the swallowtail section with the dill and the parsley, but then I'm like, I need to make something for the monarchs. I did not have any monarchs in my um, garden this summer, at least not that I saw in person. Maybe they were there and I just didn't see them. But last summer and the summer before, I saw many, many monarchs and I saw none this summer. So I want, really want to draw. Okay, so the video shut off at some point. I don't even know what I was saying. I was probably rambling on about something. I think I'm... I told you I'm looking for the butterfly weed seeds and I think I was talking about how you really want to wear gloves when you're harvesting butterfly weed and milkweed because it can be very irritating to your skin and I actually got it into my eyes um, so I won't make that lesson again I learned my lesson I think I also was talking about would you guys be interested in like wintertime videos where I'm going through some of these seeds and um, cleaning them up a bit and putting them into smaller individual packets and talking about the varieties? Would that be something anyone's interested in in the middle of winter? You can let me know. I don't want to bore you guys at all. I'm not sure... You know, I'm kind of new to this. I don't know what do people want to watch with me. Do you, is it interesting to actually sit and look at this um, together? Or is it just too mundane? Um, let me know. But look, my daughter saved these seeds about maybe three or four years ago. I don't normally save seeds in plastic. And I don't think she dried them out yet. But because she did this. I just want to keep them for sentimental value. So I have two bags, two boxes like this of just paper bags. I don't even know what this is, but I know it's not milkweed. And, oh, look at that. 2021 butterfly weed. So we found them. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get busy working on the butterfly gardens. Hey guys, Tonto and I wanted to take a quick break to give you a very important public service announcement. And it is, before you start digging, shoveling the dirt, moving stuff around, know where your gas lines, know where your water lines are. I do know because... We've had it marked several times for when we were waiting on the fence people to come and also when we had the new driveway installed. So I know my gas line is kind of to the left of Tonto there and it runs straight down and eventually right about in this area it starts to move into the dirt and grass area. So I know that I'm not going to dig any deep holes all through this area. I'm going to be very careful. So just wanted to remind everyone of that because it is important. So right here behind the zebra grass and the ground rose that I put in last night. It looks really good out front too. I'll show you in a second. Um, in this bare dirt spot here. I'm going to put about seven common milkweed seeds. And then I will cover it with about a quarter inch of dirt that I have right here. And then come spring, we will see what happens. Got seven little mounds of dirt covering each seed. And I will mulch in the bare soil areas so that I don't have weeds coming up around the milkweed. This is why I prefer black mulch. I really can't hardly really tell the difference now between the brown mulch and my little dirt piles where I have the seeds planted. 
I prefer the black mulch, but this was on sale at the garden center. So I got the brown. Um, so the milkweed seeds need cold set stratification and hopefully we will see them sprout up early uh, summer, late spring. The parsley we transplanted the other day looks great. I think it did really well. I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to sprinkle the dill and the parsley. Probably more parsley back in through there and then I will fade in some of the dill more towards the front. And I have some more Maltese cross underneath my pineapple sage that I've been wanting to dig up and relocate. So if the bees will let me, I'm going to try to crawl under the pineapple sage and dig up a few uh, clumps of the Maltese cross and transfer here. There's a few bees, but it's not super busy right now. But I really don't think I want to climb under there. But Oh, I think what I'll do is just grow some more. Maybe I'll put some seeds down for the Maltese cross too, because there's no way I'm crawling under this. So I just looked it up. Maltese cross does require cold stratification. So I'm going to go ahead and put some seeds down for that. It's a perennial here, and maybe I'll swing it down here just slightly. You can see there's some that I transplanted last week. And then I think I'll put another small patch of the common milkweed right here on this corner. Right there. Because I have a few calendulas right there behind my um, dahlias. I think I might put a few more calendula right there. So that's that section. And then, right here, there's the pretty nasturtium, and I did remember the name today. I want to put the um, butterfly weed bush here, and then I'm going to plant this germander here. This is evergreen, like a little shrub basically, but it's kind of technically an herb. And that will get not super tall but it will spread out in width and then I think right next to the artichoke area like right there I want to put a butterfly bench I think that'd be cute I forgot to bring my gloves out so I'm gonna be careful and try not to touch my hands but see the seed they uh, um, when the pods open each seed has one of these little feather parachutes to float away in the wind. Um, so I'm just going to pick out the seeds and plant them in like a little triangle area right there. Okay, so that's all for this video. Did not get a ton accomplished. And I ran out of mulch, so... It'll be dark in about 10 minutes. It's almost 5 o'clock here. 